Green Light is a documentary about the illegal supply of medicinal cannabis. The film focuses on two men who are associates, Luke and Nick, both former drug users who survived a misspent youth and who have now set up a business supplying cannabis to people in need, who either don't qualify it according to the legislation or who can't wait for the drawn out process of applying for it legally. They're both decent blokes, Luke and Nick, and we understand their motivation in making the film. And we also understand the stress of the risks they took in agreeing to be part of it. Both have young families, Nick with a baby on the way. Neither want to be incarcerated. Are we going against the law? I don't want to go to jail. But there'll be definitely no cops if we go the back way. We meet various people that they've helped, people who want to get off the opiates they've been prescribed for pain, or people who, are, as a last resort, want to try the potential curative properties of cannabis. You almost feel sorry for Luke and Nick. They've taken on this role of trying to help people only to find the burden of caring for those very people onerous. There's also the stress of the illegality of their work. It's obviously very draining emotionally. Co-produced by Alexandros Uzos and Ned Donahoe, with Donahoe directing, the film is, of course, a plea for authorities to broaden the specifications for the use of medicinal cannabis, as well as making the process of obtaining it more accessible. It's also a plea for the medical profession to be more open-minded about its potential benefits. The film is a bit languid in its approach, way too many shots of green countryside and green fields, with not a pot plant in sight until the end, but its heart is in the right place. It's not the most urgent of films, but it certainly gets its message across. Yes, it's a strange little movie, this one, isn't it? Mm. Little odd documentary. It's, it's really like a, an underground film because they really are underground sort of warriors, they, these two, and the, the best scenes probably are when it's like a, a, a you know, a kind of noirish thriller when they're on the road carrying their, their, their dispatches here and they think the cops are behind them and the camera's sort of catching them and it's wobbling a bit and the sweat's pouring off them and yeah. uh, that's really quite exciting, but the rest of it is rather sort of dull. Uh, and you do sort of wonder about the odd sort of morality of it. I mean, these guys just aren't qualified in any real way. I mean, they're very altruistic, but they have no medical qualifications no. to be dealing with people with terrible cancers and tumours and... Oh, but uh, I, I, I uh, mean, they do make the point that they urge people to consult their doctors. It's not like they're, you know... I mean, yeah. what's interesting to me is, you know, I was unaware of these two strands of cannabis oil, one of which is non-hallucinogenic, and the, the oh, other one's yes. got THC in it, which, yes. you know, it can make people feel better because they get happier. Um, but I, I sort of... I, I like that insight into, you know, the chemical use of it. There's an interesting sort of underlying idea too, I think, that, um, you know, capitalism is lurking. You know, yeah. there, there possibly are, you know, major sort of good things about you know, these drugs, and uh, but Big Pharma is lurking, sort of ready to sort of spread the tentacles to absorb the whole thing. Well, and a lot of good could be done if, if it was sort of addressed by government much more quickly than waiting for, um, you know, capitalism to sort of take the whole thing over. Yeah, because, you know, the opiates are the properties of the big drug companies. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I would give this three and a half stars. Yeah, I probably... I thought it was very clumsily put together in a technical way. I thought it could have been... a little better shot. And you're, you're dead right about those scenes of, you know, countryside and, uh, you know, let's fill the frame and let's get it to sort of 45 <laughs> minutes at least. Now, I'm, I, I, I'll, I'll give it three. I've buried a bunch of it in the garden for you. Thank you for giving me the last year of my life back. This work that we do needs to be continued.